Well, I'm a bitch and then I'm a What's going on? What's going on? Big Rube in the house. You know. I got back. called back. So I got called back in the building. What's up, called back? What up? What up? What up? What's going on? And of course, we got our special, special, special guest in the building with us. The beautiful, the sexy, the hilarious. But you, you might need to start that over, Marcus. Yeah, I know you're on vacation, and I know this is your show, but I'm going to need for you to probably, you know, do it over and do it right. You forgot to say the first lady. Did you forget that? The first lady. The first lady of Ain't No Very good. What's up, girl? Oh, oh, oh. What's up, Marcus J? How are you? That's what's up. Thank you for having me. Yo. Hey, go I'm ahead. Glad that everybody is in studio is in place. Your host Marcus J is on location, but I will be back in the chair next week. Uh, while I am on location, your man Big Rube is going to hold me down. He's sitting in the host chair. Your man Marcus J is going to be a special guest on the show tonight. Big Rube, you the man tonight, man. Take it away. What you got, man? What you got? You going you are holding me down, man? Come on, man. You acting like that I don't hold you down when I'm in the chair, brother. Of course we do. You hold me down, I mean, you hold me down all the time. And I, and, hey, look, I can, I can step away with confidence because I know you got me. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Good, good. I'm glad. Well, you know, as we do on every show, well, first thing we do, we go around, we talk about our weekend briefly. First of all, because the first lady of Ain't No Half Step is in the house, okay. Elizabeth P. Okay. How was your weekend? Oh, my, my weekend was, was nice. It was it was really nice. Um, went out of town to meet some folks. Oh, all right. Yeah. In an undisclosed location? Undisclosed location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep that on the wraps. But I um, went to meet some folks. The meeting went very, very excellent. Nice. I was very happy. So. I would smile a little harder, but, you know, my lips might get stuck, so I don't want to do that right now. But, yeah, I had a good weekend. Thank you. Good, good. Call him Banks. What's up, brother? What up, dude? What's up? You know, still fat and happy, you know. Don't <laughs> what I got to do. We both are that way. <laughs> What's going on? How was your weekend, brother? Hey, man, it was pretty good. Got to go check out the new movie. I ain't going to say the name of it, but I'm going to give it a B minus. A B minus. The kid loved it. I didn't care for it too much. Oh, wow. it, was, it was okay. The kid. Oh, wow. The boy. Yeah, the, the dude. Are you talking yeah. about, does you that talking kid about? have a name? Yeah. A little, little, little Banks. Little Banks. Oh, okay. It's Sorry. I, mean, I apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the first yeah, yeah. lady ain't been here in a minute. So, yeah, see, that's bad on you. That's bad on you. Nah, mm-hmm. it's the host. Good. It's all good. Mm-hmm. Y'all went to see that guy who be throwing out the the string and stuff? Yeah, wait. See, there you go. You're giving I'm just saying, just throwing out the string, man. Yeah, we went to see him. Yeah, all right. The kid loved it, but you didn't care for it. I didn't care for it too much. He said his favorite character one wasn't in there. I was like, dude, are you serious? I compared it to another movie that we saw this year. He like, this one was better. I was like, I might have to talk to you when you go <laughs> I mean, Lil Banks growing up, man. He's got, now he's like, yo, yeah. I got my own opinion about stuff. Yeah, he ain't tied to his opinion, but this was the wrong one for sure. <laughs> what uh, else? Everything else good, brother? Everything else is good. He he told some kid, somebody that, yes, his favorite team is the Cowboys. Because he oh, know he can't live anywhere oh, else. Oh, I love this kid. Oh, he can't live oh, anywhere else if he kid? says something else. Wow. Where yay. is this kid? This kid is great. Mm-hmm. Alright, I mean, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Don't hate. You gotta rep, you gotta rep the kid. I got you. I ain't mad at you. So, that was about it. Can't complain other than that. Cool, cool. Marcus J. Marcus J. Since, you know, you ain't here, you got, you ain't going last today. That's me, brother. How was your weekend? Oh, man. Good weekend, man. Appreciate you asking. Uh, I'm in a disclosed location. Yeah. Uh, I'm in a disclosed location right now. I tell, I tell you one thing I will share with the listeners that Marcus J. did yesterday. Marcus J, for the first time in his 38 years of life, got on a horse, y'all. I rode a horse. What? 
Yeah. What? What? I, I wrote her on, but check it. Here's the crazy part about it, right? The lady told me, she says, I'm going to give you a horse that matches your personality. So she gives yes, me yeah. this horse that was wilding down and bucking and not listening and acting all crazy. I said, what the hell? I mean, that's something <laughs> that we could have talked about and what the hell, but it was like, you know, not really what the hell. But it was cool. We got halfway through it, and then it started raining. So you soaked to the skin, so wasn't quite as cool as I had hoped it would be, but the horse's name was Hoss. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was very interesting, and I was hood with it. You know, I had my hat cocked to the side, the sunglasses on, and pay You had a cowboy hat, brother? That's how I rode with the horse. Ah, uh, no cowboy hat, man? Did you feel like Van Peebles and Posse? Hey, look, I had a hat on, brother, but I had and, uh, and, I, and I had it, I had it cut, and uh, I had the Timbs on, and I was, I was doing my thing. So I, I had to put him in check. He bought a little bit, but I had to let him know I was marking Jay. So oh. it is. I hear. Other than that, wow. Other than that, it was cool. You know, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Uh, it's been, a, it's been a good weekend, and I'll share when I'm back in studio next week exactly why I wasn't in studio this week, and you know some of the things that I was able to accomplish. And whatnot. I'm just, you know, I'm just glad to know that I can leave with confidence, and you know, the team is is is, is holding it down. Big Rue, what's the what's the what's the what's the phone number for the show so that everybody can call in and talk to the trash tonight? Come on now, you they they should know they're great listeners. But if you don't know, and this is your first time, eight zero four 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 seven zero six zero one. That's right. Let me say it. What? Ow. discussion. Call us up. We got a great show tonight. Big Room's going to tell us about what we're getting into tonight, Big Room. Yeah, but I'm going to talk about my weekend because, you know, my weekend was great because Sunday I ain't do nothing. Do we really want to know about your weekend for real? For real, man. For real. I just get to go last. Oh, all right. That's right. <laughs> you know, you know, tonight, okay? Most definitely. I, didn't, I did not walk out of my my place of residence on yesterday. I looked out the door twice and I looked out the window twice. I didn't leave the house. It was the greatest day ever. Really. It was just the greatest day ever because sometimes it was thunderstorming and stuff. Well, no reason for me to leave. You know? And, and you know, brother just got NCAA 2013. So, yeah. It was one of those few days where you could sit with your Xbox and Enjoy life playing a video game. I don't get too many of those, so I enjoyed the heck out of it. You we know. need to change that, Big Root. We need I mean, to, yeah, we need to change that. Yeah, but sometimes At least get you somebody need to, to play the Xbox Whip. Well, I mean, you know, but sometimes you just need to power down by yourself. You know, you just, gotta, you just need okay. need that that small alone time. Not like that, but, you know. Because okay. sometimes you don't want to be around nobody. Okay, I know. But I you were supposed it. to be playing against K Dub, but that, that never happened. Right? I mean, you know. K Dub didn't want to get down with it. Hey, call back, call back. Yes, sir. I think I think the room is scared of K Dub. I think somebody's scared of somebody. I, I ain't gonna say you're not in the room. So I mean, I can. You know what? That's right. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Ruben's scared of K Dub. I put it to you like this. <laughs> you, did you send an invite? It's did like you ask this. him to be on his friends list. There, there are a couple times. Yeah, he's on my friends list. Then why don't y'all get the game going? Because man, there are a couple times I've been playing. I've been playing NBA. I don't see Kato hitting me up. I'm just saying. He ain't up there. Hey, he call back. Call, call back. Yes. He don't, he don't want to admit that he's scared of Kato because it's a pretty lady in the room. Oh, he don't want to admit that he's scared of Kato because it's a pretty lady in the room. First of all, why I got to be scared of Kato? Maybe Kato scared of me. Wow. I know Kato. I've been knowing him since I was two. And I ain't never seen him turn down no challenge. And he done came on the air. Like, he don't have to have it. I'm Mark saying. Jay, now on Monday nights from seven to nine, Bubble Scout Radio dot, dot net. He came on these airwaves and challenged you, and I heard you do nothing about it. All I'm saying is, air an opportunity, man. Air an opportunity. He's had the opportunity, yeah, I just, I and just it, now, I just, hey, I just, I just put it. I just said to you that he came on the airwaves and challenged you, and you ain't did nothing. There was your opportunity. He said, "Well, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, well, I'll tell you this. If you didn't, hold on, man. He challenged me." That means he need to get at me. I'll be up there. No. If he ain't up there, that ain't my fault. Uh-huh. That, that's not how a challenge works. If you 
your challenge, you accept the challenge, and then whatever's supposed to go down goes down. It's, it's, to but see, and that's the way. That's where you're wrong. He challenged me. He wants to be the king of the mountain, so he got to climb the mountain to get to me. If he ain't trying to get to me, that's on him. Cause he challenged. I ain't challenged K Dub. K Dub challenged me. Let's just get. Don't, don't get it twisted. Yes, sir. If it smells like it, it must be it. That's all I got to say. And I'm just that's all I got to say. And all I'm saying is, is don't don't be putting it one way. Okay, well, I mean, well, Big Will, really, you can you can squash all of it. Just tell you know K Dub right now that you accept the challenge. That's all you got to do, and just shut everybody up. I mean, I'm just waiting for K Dub to hit me up. Breaking news! Breaking news! Breaking news! Marcus J, your host, has breaking news. I am right now on location and just received the message from your man K Dub. And you know what K Dub says? What K Dub say? Challenge. This week, for sure. <laughs> hey man! Oh, so you've been challenged again, Ruben? I'm saying he to be the man, you gotta beat the wait man. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! He challenged you already. First of all, to be the man, you gotta beat the man. It's just like that. So you you gonna play with the Lakers and have a stacked team with Kobe, and he gonna play with the Knicks and play with Jeremy Lin, right? And the Knicks are gonna get smacked like they do in real life. I hear you. You know what my money is? I'm going to tell you who my money on. My money on it that the game won't be played. That's, yeah, what, yeah, yeah, pretty much. that's what my money is. Hey, I mean, put the over under. But you know what? We digress. Why are we talking about old stuff anyway? You know, it's like this. When it gets down, it gets down. And when, trust me, when it happens, everybody going to know. Because pictures will be sent out. Video will be had. I mean, you know, hey, you know, he stepped to me. He'll go down like the rest. It's that simple. Wow. Uh, okay. All right. You, you just got this in front of a pretty lady. Mr. P, what you got to say about that? You been quiet back then. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just, I mean, I'm just observing. And, I mean, it looks like the big room is ready for whatever challenge, whether it be the game or whatever. So, I think you could tell K-Dub is a go. But, you know. Um, he, I mean, he has the look of a winner on his face. So, I think he's good. I mean, cause I mean, even though I hate the Lakers, I hope he's not playing with those. I mean, that's really. cool. Well, listen, P knows what's up. This we're about to go to a break. You know, we're gonna do a little Humpty dance right now, <laughs> so you can get up and dance if you like. We'll be back. Ain't no half stepping. Be back in two and two. That's right, Chuck Woolery, baby, Chuck Woolery. <laughs> 